Let, let me wish you a happy Holi. And it, this is a unique Holi when there is no noise. There is no muck throwing all over. I would say a quite a beautiful Holi. So I, uh, like always, went to the uh, went to the cantonment and meet some young soldiers where they were uh, me uh, they're talking and it one was inspired to hear the, uh, hear them talking with so much of energy and so much of enthusiasm it took me back to the days when i was young and armed forces lovely days hope enthusiasm energy and absolutely focused to the uh, task and the aim you join armed forces tremendous my friend let's face it to live in this world you have to be a strong sooner or later something will hit you pain sickness accident failure and when it comes it will rock you unless you have uh, developed some good inner toughness and I call it tough mindedness it could be that the world was made as it is full of problems and difficulty to bring out the tough quality in the human beings because you are in fact I feel tougher than you really think all the strength my friend you will ever need to handle everything is within you now at any stage of life you have this potential to master the guts to face any challenge it was put by our Creator who knew very well what you uh, you would be up against in this life and made you equal to it in life if life seems to be going extra hard for you my friend ask yourself honestly just where the trouble is the tendency is to blame other people or forces beyond your control but the truth is that your problem is not beyond your control the solution is within you as Gautam Buddha declared the mind is everything what you think you become if you're weak and defeated the reason may well be that you have allowed failure to dominate your thoughts creating a deep unconscious belief that you do not have the ability to succeed my friend the solution reverse the mental image of yourself I am sure this will not be easy and this is not an easy task negative mental habits have uh, channel deep groves grooves in your consciousness and your mind will protest a positive reorientation but you must realize that your mind has actually been trying lying to lying to you most of the time about your real abilities deliberately causing you to fail so you must stand up to your mind dominate and don't let it control you you can always with God's help control it my friend this uh, uh, time with the young soldiers uh, rekindled my thought which was diminishing young people were once taught this strong philosophy in these schools of uh, every schools and uh, uh, community centers or prayer centers in homes by mothers by uh, your seniors elders by reciting uh, stories of chivalry by our, by our ancestors such teaching developed a great breed of men my friend but it has been rather generally abandoned or literally uh, not given attention to and a deteriorating softness has been allowed to uh, set in I call this a crime against human nature all 
environment you should motivate to remain strong and uh, make your willpower strengthen your resolve to do anything and face all challenges my friend there are so many people who have made a lasting impression upon the mind as well as the body I can recall vividly few of them you see a teacher of mine I would say uh, when I was in uh, high school uh, this thing he suddenly thunder out in the middle of the class silence with that he would turn to be a turn to the he turned to the blackboard and wrote in large letters the word can't then he would turn around and glare, uh, glared at these students, all of us. We knew that uh, what to do. With united voice, we could chant, strike the T of the can't, and with a sweeping, powerful stroke, he would erase the T, leaving the great word can, can standing forth unforgettably, my friend. We can we will and we shall let that be a lesson for all of us stop whining that you can't remember who you are my friend you are the children of the God with God's help you can overwhelm all difficulties I'm sure and my teacher used to then take a pause and will add another phrase that I have never forgotten that you can if you think you can and actually it has been it has been, it's, it's a uh, cardinal principle has been a cardinal principle all my life the defeated mind can handle uh, can hardly bring any uh, success out of failure for it is incapable of perceiving possibilities in hard situation but this strong person ha a person has a mind unclouded by gloom he realizes the obstacles in a given problem but he has the ability to always always to see a chunk of light in any darkness however howsoever black I saw a sun dial in uh, Vishubharti University Shantiniketan while I was uh, there uh, founded by the great poet Ravindnath Tagore, a noble literate. An ins uh, inscription there, and the inscription was, to large vision, the end of the shadow is the line of light. It simply meant that one of the simplest thing about all facts of life is that to get where you want to go, you must keep on, keep on, keeping on. And that's it. Mind a friend of mine told me how he managed to build a great institution. I was so impressed. From practically nothing. He chuckled as he told me of his close brushes with uh, bankers. Always, you see, uh, always declaring him a bankrupt, uh, 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 that he has nothing and he is bound to fail. But he simply kept going, my friend. Time again, we are uh, scraping uh, the bottom. And he just kept going. A truly tough-minded, optimistic friend. In action. And let me tell you, when the going gets rough, let the tough get going. Write that's this thought in block letters in your mind. And my friend, practice until it becomes a part of you. The conviction that there is a God within, supplying the strength within you. Man is what he thinks, my friend. Never what he says, reads or hears. But persistent thinking, you can undo any condition which exists. You can be free of any chains, whether of poverty, sin, ill health, 
unhappiness or fear my friend remember you can indeed you can be indeed a tough minded optimist like those who have succeeded and uh, proved themselves nothing splendid has ever been achieved except by those who dare to believe that there was something inside them superior to circumstances my friend you are tougher than what you really think happy holy once again thank you very much